Welcome back, everybody. So, in the between episodes, I added in some walls and stuff into my hotel. So now I got the walls through here for the kitchen and the restaurant here. And then coming in here, this will be the lobby. So I'll have to deck this out as a lobby for everybody. And of course, it starts raining. As soon as I start recording, it rains. Oh, so let's see. Of course, I can't sleep and get rid of it. I'm going to probably have to cut and come back when it's not raining because that's very annoying. Well, we go. At least I can come up here and show you. Um, oh, I'm not going to show you that. So while I get rid of this creeper, why don't you uh, take a look at this time lapse of me building the first floor. Well, now that I've gotten rid of the creeper, and it's safe to come back up here once again. Now, I've just kind of started my floor layout. I don't really have a set plan, but I put those, uh, the end stone in there is um, the hallways. So that's going to take you from room to room. I mean, I'm just using these uh, stone slabs to kind of mark out where the rooms are going to be. I think that'll be easy easier to build and I do have a kind of a split floor, floor uh, split floor build where I've got the ceiling down below is a stone or uh, sandstone slabs and the floor up here is actually birch I thought that would be kind of cool because then uh, your ceiling your floor don't match And then I'm still sticking with sandstone and the yellow mustard uh, terracotta. So like this corner over here is going to be one of the rooms. So we just need to, you know, like this would be the door right there. Um, so right here would be your doorway and that would take you into the room. And the hallway will just extend all the way to the end here. Probably have a window looking out over the ocean. And then on the other side here, we'll have another room. So like, let's see, here. I don't need it on the outside wall because that's actually wall. The walls are going to sit on top of these uh, slabs. We'll have a, one big suite over here. So like the bedroom would be in the back here so you can get a nice, nice window 
view of the the city and stuff. And then over here would be another bedroom probably. Oops, I need there we go. And where's the floor? The birch floor. So like that would be a door going into that suite. So you can have a nice view of everything out there. And where is my, there we go. The smooth sandstone is kind of going to form the walls up here. So just carrying over the, uh, the same theme we have down below. So we'll put just a little touch here of the terracotta. Just to give it a nice bright yellow. And then we'll do the sandstone through there. I'm just trying to be consistent with uh, the walls and stuff. And kind of be stylish, or I don't know if stylish, but just, you know, add highlights and stuff. You don't want a boring, flat, you know, unexciting, oh, okay, unexciting building. Okay, so let me get back to where we were. Now that I've uh, got back up here, so I put the walls up. Just We're just going to do short walls for now, just kind of... Almost like drawing a little outline of all the rooms. So like that was a bathroom. This would be a nice room in the corner. Have another room here. And then we have the common space. And then this suite, you'll go into this one. We'll have like a bathroom off to the side. And I'm trying to put the bathrooms uh, inside the walls where there's no windows and stuff. Because you might as well uh, take advantage of the view for... Like this would be a living area or a bedroom. Because those are where you're going to want the views. Not in from the bathroom. So I can use the inside walls for like bathrooms and kitchens and stuff. Or kitchenettes I guess. Because it is like a hotel. And then this area out here would be your. Either your, ma your, your master suite or your living room. Like a general room there. And then we're just going to do uh, this smooth sandstone for all the walls. I consider doing a different uh, block on the inside versus the outside walls. But then just, you know, fell back to it. I kind of like have one color palette. So we're just going to go with the smooth sandstone. And then, like I said, a touch of color on the corners. There. And then the smooth sandstone will go all the way around. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm going for. I just need to finish up each room, kind of just doing an outline on each room, and then I'm just going to take the floors up, probably three or four stories, do an outline of each room in there, and then we can uh, come back and furnish them all.
So as you see, I have the whole building complete. And I even got this roof space kind of nice and leveled out. I wasn't sure if I was going to build anything up here, but I think what I'm going to put up here is a roofside restaurant. So put a uh, the cooking kitchen kind of central and then put chairs and seating all the way around everything. Because the floor is uh, buildable, it's at a spawnable level, so that makes it easier. And then going down all these different floors, I haven't finished up all the walls in here, I've just got a good outline. Uh, got the ceiling, I'm going to need to put in probably the birch ceiling in there, because you can see the roof. So I've got a little bit of work to do on the ceilings and the walls. And of course we need to furnish and all that. And then we got nice stairways going down to each each level. So going down to this one. This one yeah, has a bit less done. I've got the ceiling started. But everything's kind of a big wide open concept. I've just got the outlines of all the different rooms. Here looks a little more finished. I've got all the rooms through here, just a few walls to put in and stuff. So it's kind of like a building under construction, you would see. Part way through the construction zone, or construction process. This one got this nice entryway, couple bedrooms, got a, maybe that'll be a bathroom. And then we have a nice bedroom here where you can have a view. And the lighting, it looks dark, but it's all lit up. And then we get back down here to the lobby. So I think what I'm going to do, this is uh, the kitchen. Actually, I didn't show you. And I got the roof on here. So all the sandstone slabs. Makes a nice, clean roof, contrast to the floor. And then we have the kitchen in here. This will be the cooler. So this would be uh, where they're like the freezer. Maybe this is, nope. It looks dark, but nothing can spawn. I'll just put a torch there for my peace of mind. I'm so used to the old spawning light levels that it uh, scares me when it looks a little dark. And then these are just uh, conference rooms and meeting rooms, like you'll see in some big hotels. Well, on the first floor, people rent out the conference rooms and stuff. And then this is where all the clerks will sit to check people in and check people out. I think uh, we, I'm going to gather a few supplies and then I think we'll start work on this lobby area. Well, the first uh, place to start on the lobby is the entrance. I'm going to put a small, small awning just overhanging the doors. Just some granite pillars going up. I think that just gives it a better, you know, more welcoming space. And I think it just works better for an entrance. Even if it's not a huge, you know, foyer or, you know, porch, a little, just a little bit goes a long ways. And I am trying to get, I still have trouble getting these blocks placed the way I want. That would be a great quality of life would be to uh, have the ability to place the blocks and rotate them after you've placed them. I know some mods do that. But then you wouldn't have to keep guessing. It's like, do I face north, south, east, west? How do I get them the way I want? You'd know right off the bat. We do have two entrances to the lobby here. They're pretty close together, but oh, I was sneaking because I thought I'd fall in the water, but there's not, no water there. So that goes there, and if I remember, yeah. Trying to get those blocks to line up. So I want the little dark corners on the outsides pointing out. Pick up these. Just doing a little bit of inventory management. Look at this, the main lobby. And then that'll be the check-in desk. So I think I just need to start in Put a couple doors here and two over here. I'm going with the uh, jungle doors because I think they look nice. I mean, they're not too wide open, 
they're kind of exotic enough to belong to the hotel. And I shouldn't have got rid of this uh, terracotta because I need it to go over the door. And I don't like those pointing the same direction. So let's put one like that. And then this one should go like, mm, no, back to my old, uh, there we go. My old complaint where I've got to place at least twice to get them where I need to be. Yeah, I think that looks good for an entrance. Now we're just going to put a few couches in the lobby so people can sit around. I've got some, there we go, bookshelves. I think it looks nice. So I got the seating area. A little string, a little light rods, and a little bit of carpeting, and we have a table for people to sit and relax. We'll do the same thing over in this corner. And then let's get rid of that. And then maybe something over in this corner. I'm not sure I can put a big couch, maybe just a single chair. And then a tiny little table like that. So that kind of that's uh, catching two birds with one net. I'm putting, uh, getting rid of the torches and leaving lighting in. So in this corner, we're going to put a bigger, like a wraparound couch lounge area. So we've got the, and then uh, i got that small little table off to my left. There's my car carpet, 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 there we go. And a couple more bookcases here and there. And that's starting to look like a lobby now. And I need something in the middle. I think I'm gonna put a small couch or couch area here like a sectional sofa there and then we'll put a table in between them because I don't want to block the footpath through there but I don't want it to be so wide open it doesn't look natural I think that is looking pretty good and then over here you know lobbies usually have a coffee stand. So that's where my coffee stand is going to go. I think I'm going to push it all the way over against this plant here. Um, there we go. Like that. So we got a little coffee brewing area. Everything looks like it's lit, which is always good. And I just need to deal with this check-in area. Or the re reception desk, that's it. I'm trying to think of what that's called, and it's a reception desk. So on the inside of reception, I'm going to put these lecterns. We're going to have two stations. So one here, and then we'll get another lectern, and we're going to put one right here. So we got two areas to check in. I've got my written book, of course. I may have to light. Well, maybe not. I thought I was going to have to light it up. I saw one one, which is cutting it close. Right. I will light it up because it looks better with the lighting and stuff. So there, I just need a table. And I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get some more supplies. I don't really need the lighting out here, but... Got looking at it. I thought it looked better if I had a few uh, lanterns around like that. I mean, it does let me get rid of that torch, but I think it just looks better with the visual, you know, visible lighting. I mean, it actually lights things up, but it's not really needed anymore. And then back here in reception, 
I want to kind of separate the two different check-in windows with that pillar. And then I thought, I'm trying to think, that corner, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but there we go. Hmm, not sure. I think that's going to need to be up higher. I can't get rid of those blocks because of the, you, you'll see the stairway underneath. That's why that little L is there. We'll give this guy a nice jungle wood desk. That. Um, I don't like that corner hanging off like that, so I think I'm going to move that stair over here. And then do another. No. Nope. Another slap. There we go. So that takes care of the desk. And then I've got another book for reception. So there's a book. And I need some chairs. I can just put a chair here, chair here. And that kind of finishes up the reception area. And then in this corner, I'm actually going to put in a bed, not for sleeping, but kind of like a little lounge, uh, just a seating lounge for the employees to sit and relax while they're back here waiting. I mean, sometimes you have like a night manager. It'd be nice if they didn't have to just sit in these desks so you could sit back there and you know, kind of take a break or something, but still be available in case someone needs them for the front desk. Then I just have a few odds and ends to put in. And then putting some chests, putting some barrels. I think. Got a door here, so we're just gonna door that thing up. Still need to put in windows. And just do a few extra touches around here. But overall, I think that uh, gets us started on the lobby and our hotel. So I'm just going to continue adding in a few things here and there and then start working on, you know, the restaurant, and the kitchen and that kind of stuff. But that will be for another time. For now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a great day, everybody. See you later. Bye bye.